Hello guys. So in this uh, video, let's understand the system architecture. So nothing but how the software will be starts from the requirements from the client side and how it will be uh, uh, transformed as a software which is working in the market. Okay. So let's see about the complete software architecture or the system architecture in IT organization or any company. Okay. So let's go with this. So very first time we have to take the requirements from the client right but who will take the requirements from the client as a developer we will not or as a tester also we will not take the requirements from the client but who will means the guy is business analyst okay so he is the person who is responsible to collect the requirements or to gather the requirements from the client okay after taking the requirements he will understand the requirements okay so and uh, what exactly the application business flow the client is expecting that needs to be understand by him and he has to transform the requirements as brs document okay so business requirement specifications document he will prepare so this uh, document will consist what is the business flow of the requirements or how the application needs to be work okay so what is the business flow will be explained in detail about in this prs or the business requirement specification document and to make the life cycle of the developers and the testers and to uh, easily develop the models now this document again be transformed as a system requirements specification or the functional requirements specifications so now it will contain in detail about the models and their components and the sub models and sub features everything will be clearly explained okay so again so by using this document okay so now the project manager or the test manager project lead or the test lead will do planning okay so in this planning what they will do they have to understand what is that applications and how the application needs to be developed and further and how the application needs to be test so for that they do perform or they do plan project planning and also test planning okay so now documents will be created like a test plan document will be created here okay by the test lead and the complete project will be project plan will be created by the project manager okay now the system analyst is a guy what he will do means he can use this functional requirement specification document and to make the software testing life cycle or the software developers life cycle easier this guy will give the designing guys okay so he will give the design of the requirements so of course this guy is also use this frs document and also this uh, how the planning they are going to be planned so and to uh, clearly understand about the models they will give the first high level design of the models and also in this high level they will again include the project architecture how the complete application needs to be uh, available with the different elements or different fields okay and that uh, flow that uh, elements how they need to be aligned on how they need to be work will be clearly explained by the data flow diagrams and also again later for the simply understand the design again that uh, high level design will be transformed to low level design okay so again this will be again contains with different entity relationship diagrams and this is the way the designing phase will be completed by the system architects now the level of bus duty what the developers needs to perform means the developers duty is coding okay so they have to create the logic for the model how it needs to be work actually so far whatever the work we did they did is only the paperwork guys okay so now the implementation is started okay so now the executable application will start implementing from the developer side 
okay so what the developer is doing here is they are performing the source code development what does it contains so this will contain how the application needs to be work whatever the different models they included here so what is the level high level design they given so what is the architecture they given and how the working flow they given here okay how the elements are aligned and how they have to be work everything is a, just it is a sample view okay now this is a working code okay now this is developed by the developers so at the developing itself okay in the previous video also we seen what is the software testing means i said verification and the validation so after they developed the developers needs to verify are we developing right product or not and now that will be performed a part of the white box testing the verification will be done by the developers after the verification they will send the build a part of the uh, uh, completion of the all the white box testings now they will form a bill and that will be sent to the testing team okay now the bill will be given to the testing team now the test engineers what they will do mean the test engineers will do perform the testing on the build okay testing on the build what exactly we have to do a part of the testing means simply we have to execute the application okay simply we have to execute the application simply we do give the input to the system and the system definitely give some response even not responding is also one response so as per that what you performed here what the system is given while you are performing these actions what you expected what you got you have to compare them and you have to do validation on the system okay so that is a part of bbt you will do the validation so here again bbt will contain the different techniques to validate the system is a quality or not risk free or not securable or not okay so that we will see in the next uh, video so so far let's understand let's uh, the testers will perform here bbt or the black box system okay so next uh, what uh, bbt after the bbt we have to do is so we have to do the user acceptance testing we have to do the user acceptance testing what is this user acceptance testing nothing but a client needs to accept our build which is completed the bbt the build which is sent by the developers team is, is also completed the successful bbt the build is getting quality that confirmed by the test engineers now needs to be accepted by the client so far that we are performing here user acceptance testing user acceptance testing so if this user acceptance testing is completed now the production executive is responsible for the deployment okay so this is the way software will start from the requirement phase and it will complete at the delivery and maintenance phase okay so this is the the process or the architecture will followed in the organization to develop the software and again it will also continues guys okay so in further sessions we'll understand how the software will be starts develop okay with the different models what are the different models are there one by one we do discuss okay so this is the way the application will uh, the architecture will complete okay so let's understand the software development life cycle phases and how it will be already we have seen here no okay so the simple this is a system architecture and if you focus here what we have to do focus there is a heading that stages is there no so these stages you can also call as a phases so these are the phases nothing but software development life cycle phases okay simple so already we discussed in detail about the requirements understanding phase planning phase design phase coding testing delivery and maintenance okay so and these are the phases of software development life cycle so let's have a look on the phases again requirement analysis phase planning phase design phase coding phase testing and deployment and this cycle will continues okay that's why we are calling it a software development life cycle software development life cycle so already we discussed in detail about each phase and who will contribute further phase what is the participant what is the responsibility 
already we discussed yes or no so here in the system architecture we have seen the different participates and what is their uh, the particular phase they do perform and what exactly their responsibility is here okay this is a good uh, system architecture in the different phases of the software development life cycle okay and these phases will be contribute in different models also okay these phases will contribute in different models so those will be like sequential model and the incremental or the iterative model we'll discuss those model in the next session guys thank you